Well, you know, we had such a close call with the storm. Some officials are now renewing their calls for the Ike Dyke. It's a project that's been in the works for almost a decade now. Lauren Tallarico explains what it is, how much it would cost, and why the delay. The Ike Dyke, which is very important. From Republicans to Democrats. So that's something that we need Congress to work on. Today, both parties calling for construction to begin on the Ike Dyke, a barrier that would protect Houston Galveston from dangerous and costly hurricane storm surge. The plan, proposed in 2011, would extend Galveston seawall, add levees and pumps, and build giant gates that could close off the ship channel, not only protecting people and property, but the petrochemical plants that could cause an environmental disaster. We're now seeing projections closer to the $32 billion range. Professor Dietrich von Biedenfield with UH Downtown says it could cost as much as $38 billion, but adds a direct hit from a Cat 4 hurricane could could cost some 100 billion. So 30 billion dollars versus 100 billion dollars, 70 billion dollars difference, that's a win. Most of the project would likely be covered by federal funds, but not all. There is a high probability that even a quarter to 50% of this project would need to be funded from local dollars. Those against the project worry about the taxpayer burden, imminent domain, and the environmental impact. Bedenfield says the project could take three to ten years or longer. A project many politicians say Houston can't afford to go without. It was a very close call for us. Standing for Houston, I'm Lauren Tallarico, KHOU 11 News.